All right, I completely redesigned the rotor vanes. It's completely an unobvious, uh, unintuitive design. And uh, I came upon it by just playing around with the angle of the vanes. And it's about backwards of what you'd think. Those vanes now are creating lift all the way around. Very little drag effect on them. Uh, the vanes are free to move through the airflow, airstream without any kind of back pressure. Um, and also the high pressure inside the rotor vane um, assembly is acting on those, those vanes like wings. On the outside of the wings is low pressure. So you know what you get when you get high pressure on the flat side of the airfoil and a low pressure area on the, uh, on the rounded side of the airfoil, you get lift. So we're getting lift all the way around. And I've tripled the output at the same RPM, or I mean the same wind speed, and um, we're getting charging voltage at my goal of five miles per hour. So at about 10 miles per hour, we're getting almost 20 volts. Now I can I can reconfigure uh, the circuitry and even uh, double or triple that, but I don't want to lose the amp. So just by playing with the rotor vanes, we're getting a lot more speed. This is what I'm talking about. It's kind of crazy, but uh, the back of the wing is facing the wind, and the large cord of the uh, airfoil is facing inwards. And in fact, it's about backwards of what you'd think. But even at a very, very low wind speed, it, it wants to spin up. I'll just let it go here. Not a lot of wind right now, but it just wants to go. Well, inside the rotor vanes is a low pressure, I'm sorry, a high pressure area. You got low pressure on the outside. And those wings just tend to want to suck around. That's what they're doing. Got 16 rotor vanes on this uh, two foot diameter turbine. And uh, we'll wait for some higher winds today. It's supposed to be 10 to 15. Let's we'll see what kind of RPM we got. I had a couple of gusts today. I got up to about 120 RPM, 140. I was putting out uh, 20 volts. Anyway, it looks promising. I right, will keep you posted. Hopefully we'll get this thing kitted soon. So you guys can make one. Shouldn't be too expensive, really. So up here I've got two bridge rectifiers. Uh, they're full full wave rec rectifiers. And I'm just seeing if I can charge this battery. So I've got them hooked up to the battery, got them hooked up to the inverter. And um, the idea is to see what kind of load we can pull without drawing the battery down. We need a little more wind, so we'll do that this afternoon. That's a uh, hundred watt draw battery and uh, we're at 11.81 .8. so it's not quite putting out 100 watts at this RPM it's about I don't know 8-10 mile an hour wind so we need a little more wind and so we've dropped down to 11.79. Now we're losing a little efficiency on this inverter. Yeah, we're getting some wind speed. We're holding at 12.02. About 100 watts now. There's really no, really no sound to this turbine. It's quiet.
Got a fair amount of breeze now. It's probably over 10. Getting a couple little white caps. 